Line plots are used to display data. For example, the line plot below shows how much money 10 students spent at the book fair. Each X represents the number of times that that value occurs. So here you see $5 and you see two X's above, which means that two students spent $5. When you look at the row or the column for $10, you see that four students spent $10, two students spent $15, one student spent $20, and one student spent $25. Now let's use a line plot to solve a problem. Let's just scroll down, and I've got a written pro problem here. Alex is decorating a picture frame with buttons and beads. He measures the length of each button to the nearest one-eighth of an inch to decide which ones to use. So we have a line plot here, and below is a question. So it says, if Alex lines up the buttons that have a length of 8 eighths inches, what would the total length be? Now remember, the number of X's above each measurement represent the number of buttons that have that particular length. So let's just take a look. Here I see 1 eighth, which means 1 eighth of an inch, and there are no X's, which means that no button that Alex has contain, or is, uh, is this long. None of the buttons are 1 eighth inches long. Go to 2 eighths. 2 eighths has one X above it, which means that one of the buttons is 2 eighths inches long. Then you go here, and you see that there we see a value of 3 eighths, and I see 1, 2, 3 X's, which means three buttons have that length. 4 eighths, there are five buttons with that length. 5 eighths, there are none. 6 eighths, there are four buttons with that length. 7 eighths, no buttons with that length. And then 8 eighths, which is what we're looking for, there are 1, 2, 3. So there are three buttons with a length of 8 eighths. Now he wants to line them up, and we want to know what the total length will be. So to, if he lines them up, to find the total length, you would add. So you have 8 eighths plus 8 eighths plus 8 eighths. And the total here would be the total length you're trying to solve for. Now let's just scroll down and make some space. What I want to do is do this addition using a fraction model. So we're going to see 8 eighths, and we're going to add that three times. So here are three fraction length models, and each of them have eight equal parts. So they each represent 8 eighths. To find the sum here, you want to add up or count how many equal parts are shown in all and it would be over a denominator of 8, since each whole is divided into 8 equal parts. So now let's count. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and lastly, 24. So there are 24 equal parts. So 24 eighths would be the total length, but you can write this value a different way. Notice that there are three holes here, and each hole is entirely filled. So that means that 24 eighths equals three holes. Since Alex measured in inches, when he lines these three buttons up, it'll have a total length of three inches. In this lesson, you've learned how to use line plots to help you solve problems. Thanks for watching.